welcome back to No Cabin Fever today. Um, with us today, we have Jan Kuncher from Server Media. So without further ado, I'd like to hand over to him um, and we'll be happy to listen and follow him on creating beautiful pages with Aura. Yeah, hello, this is Jan. I will directly share my screen. Okay, so hello, my name is Jan. I am uh, the CEO of a company called uh, App Anvil uh, and um, I am also working for Seabit Media in uh, Wiesbaden in Germany as a solution owner. And we have partnered up um, and have published um, the app Aura that you see here in the Atlassian Marketplace. Um, Aura is an app for Confluence available for server and data center. And I will show you um, how to create beautiful pages with this app. So um, first of all, I want to show you some screenshots um, that you can see here so that you get um, a feeling um, what is really, um, what, what Aura is capable of. So here you see, for example, a knowledge base uh, a page which has been created in Confluence with Aura. And I would like to show ex this exact page just after um, I've showed you some screenshots. Um, I will um, show you the edit mode. I will show you how to create such a pa uh, page in a really um, um, yeah, small time frame. Um, here you see, for example, um, a documentation page, uh, again, uh, made in Confluence um, with several macros that Aura um, um, has built in. So currently we have uh, six different macros and of course we are um, um, always creating uh, or there are always more available. Um, so in our last release, um, we, we just um, released a new macro um, and I will also show this one to you. So you see, you see um, how, for example, documentation could look like in Confluence. You see nice, um, uh, for example, nice titles, buttons, uh, navigation here and so on. Um, this is another example, for example, for how an employee onboarding could look like. You see nice background images, huge titles. And uh, for example, if you have a new employee, um, then um, you can guide them um, with those pages uh, much better and much um, more structured than uh, a standard confluence could do because a standard confluence is not even um, able to um, to provide uh, uh, buttons just um, you know boring links and so um, yeah you can for example create this onboarding page to guide the new employee so for example through his first day or maybe he wants to know where he um, finds the restrooms or whatever um, so just to give you some um, examples here you see some examples that are more into um, a website uh, look um, so of course this is all uh, those screenshots are all taken uh, directly out of confluence um, here you see if you're familiar with safe the scaled agile framework and maybe you know the so-called pi planning you can also do beautiful overviews for uh, this specific use case um, it's uh, for all uh, uh, of you that doesn't know SAFE. It's just a huge um, meeting about two days and um, you want to, um, you know, uh, give an, um, an, an overview about when does this meeting or this event uh, will take place and what is the agenda and stuff like that. And so you can um, create such beautiful pages with Aura 2. And uh, here, you, for example, you see a product showcase. So this could be a page that is um, also available internally, but it's already so nice that you can also display it externally. So if you're using Confluence also to um, make um, uh, information um, uh, or to, to, to publish information publicly, then um, you are um, able to create really appealing pages with Aura, like you can see here. Uh, what I want to show you now is if you're here in the marketplace, um, there is a link to a live demo 
Um, this is where I will uh, switch um, to right now. You can directly access this live demo and check out um, Aura by yourself. So in this live demo, um, I will quickly navigate through the page that I wanted to show you. I want to go to, an, to the knowledge base example that I've promised. And um, here you see the knowledge base example. So um, of course you can add much more items or you can adjust everything that you see here. And I want to show you how you can do that. So um, if we're going uh, here in the edit mode, you see for the first time um, how Aura displays um, Aura macros here in Confluence. So the big difference between Aura macros and um, standard macros is that you um, that nearly nearly all Aura macros are visible here in the edit mode, so you can directly see the result actually, and you don't have to hit um, the preview button or the save button to see what you're doing. Um, so this is a huge benefit. And um, I want to quickly uh, do a breakdown here, what you see. So you see that the, um, the beautiful image here in the background of this mountain um, is displayed by a so-called Aura background content macro. Um, we can quickly go into the edit mode of that one. And you see that, our, um, that the, the uh, edit dialogues of Aura macros are very intuitive. So um, everything um, is, is, uh, has a nice UI, you have sliders, you have drop downs. So um, also um, colleagues that, for example, are um, not so technically um, into this stuff um, are very, they, they can really easily um, configure um, the, the, the macros like they want to. And so for example, you can really easily configure in with a real-time preview how, um, yeah, the, the size, for example, of this background or um, the, the orientation, or maybe you want also to add a color, maybe you want to colorize this uh, image even, uh, so you can, for example, add uh, this color here. And then, uh, for example, we will go down with the transparency. And so you're also able to, for example, here, um, colorize a little bit the, um, um, the, the images that you are using. And uh, what you can also do is not only colorize, but if you, for example, go to, to black here, you can also darken them. So uh, for example, your white texts uh, would be better visible. And of course you can also do the other way around. You can lighten them up. So you have many options here. This is already a little bit of a pro, of a pro tip here, but um, yeah, so I will, I will um, just um, save that. And um, so now um, the next uh, macro that I want to show you is the Aura title. The Aura title um, gives you the um, possibility to create bigger text um, in short. Um, so with those texts, you can really catch the attention of your readers and uh, you are again able to adjust everything here and see it in, in real time. So I think this is um, pretty basic what you see here uh, or uh, pretty easy to understand. Um, what we also offer, uh, which, what you can see here in the color um, is that uh, you can also, as an administrator, provide different color schemes or color palettes. And um, so this means if we, for example, switch to default, you see other um, available colors here. And if we switch to Aura again, other colors and so, um, you can create those palettes for um, your corporate identity, for different products, and so on and so on. And this is, again, um, so much easier for the user um, to select the correct colors for, for example, a specific product. Um, so I've used uh, the title here and here again. Um, you see that uh, this one has a, a light weight, so it's um, uh, differently looking than the bold one here. Here you see a typical standard um, Atlassian life search macro that makes sense here in this context. And what you see here, this is uh, the only macro that is uh, from Aura that is not um, directly visible here in the edit mode. Those are the so-called Aura cards. And with those cards, you are able to create um, yeah, those beautiful tiles or cards um, that um, 
can, uh, sh uh, that can show um, the content of your choice and that can also link to content of your choice. So um, they can be used as, for example, as a navigation um, element. Uh, if, you have a, a, if you have a link, for example, behind this, um, this specific card, or if you don't have a link, then it's, you know, just uh, like, a, like an info box or a, a content um, um, a bo a box to, to inform the reader about what's going on here. So in this case, it's, um, it's a navigation. And um, here again, the uh, configuration is very easy to do. You're able to select from different card types. So this is a text only card type. Here you see a card type with icons. And here you see a card type with images and you can adjust everything. So let me quickly show or demonstrate what you're able to do here. You can, for example, specify the uh, amount of columns that you want to use. You can also add new cards here. And um, if you want, for example, to adjust a single card, simply click on the card. And now you can, you see that we switched from the general tab to the content tab, and now you're able to adjust this specific card. So for example, I will type in something and you see again this, this uh, preview is in real time. And uh, you can add a link, you can add other images if you want. And uh, so you can create, um, yeah, the, the cards um, of your dreams. Um, and um, there's so much more going on here that you can do so much cool things with the cards. So for example, if we switch to two columns and we say, um, I want the image position uh, to change from the top to the left, then you see how the cards um, design has massively changed. And now you can, for example, um, adjust a little bit the size or the, the, the height here um, and also uh, the, the, um, the padding or the margin in this case between different cards. And uh, if you want to do some more stuff, there are also uh, some designs here that will also grow over time. So currently we offer three different designs. So this is the light design. Then we have a light accent where you can um, add those lines here and you can um, yeah, adjust um, the, the colors for each card, of course. Uh, and also, for example, background color where you can insert different colors for the different cards and um, that will match, for example, your product or your corporate identity. Um, yeah, and um, the last macro that you see here is the Aura button. Um, again, you see a real-time preview here and you are able to add your text, to link to the content of your choice, um, and uh, for example, to select uh, of um, many, many different icons that you can also search through. And um, yeah, and another uh, last macro that I want to show you that, is, that uh, currently isn't here on the page is our newest one. It's the so-called um, Aura Divider. So uh, let me quickly go here to this one. So you are, I think you're familiar with the horizontal rule of uh, a confluence. Um, the problem with that is you can't uh, really uh, edit it. It's always a gray rule and that's it. And uh, the aura divider is um, the, the better horizontal rule in this case. So you're able, for example, first of all, to um, uh, choose between different types. So this is a basic uh, line. There is one with a text. Um, you can also align the text, for example, here in the middle and really create um, nice um, uh, headings in this case. You can also use uh, an icon for that. And you're also able, of course, to adjust the colors here, um, the, um, the, the thickness. And if you don't want to have it 100% uh, uh, whiteness, you can also adjust everything um, so that it fits to your um, use case. Okay. And now we've added it and okay, this is something that uh, won't look good, but I don't care. It's uh, to show you what is, uh, what Aura is capable of. So my time is uh, already over. It's uh, really, really uh, fast. I want um, to uh, say that 
um, you can see, um, or I have provided a full tutorial here on, uh, on YouTube on how to create this uh, knowledge base uh, uh, um, uh, page. Uh, it's about 20 minutes. I will just um, insert it into the uh, chat. And if you want, you can check it out and also try it by yourself directly in the live demo environment that we provide. All right, thank you. Um, and um, yeah, I hope to, uh, or I am also still here to answer your questions. Yeah, thank you very much, Jan. Um, so if there's any questions, uh, just use the Q&A box at the bottom of the screen. Um, otherwise, um, yet, yet another add-on that, that really makes Confluence more beautiful um, uh, than, than it is by default, um, to say the least. So it's uh, really great to see uh, all this shiny and polished UI in action. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so okay. I've just um, um, copied the link to the full tutorial. Um, so if you want, you can check it out. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, if there's no questions coming in, then uh, thanks for tuning in today. Um, uh, I hope uh, you can enjoy the rest of the, uh, well, at, at least partially a public holiday um, in some <laughs> part of Germany. Um, and uh, I hope you can tune in again tomorrow um, when we have a talk by Mike and Longlad about epic reporting for non-scrum teams with rich filters and Jira dashboards. So thanks again, Jan. Take care and bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye.